to me, or was I just sort of at the, in the wrong place at the wrong time? I don't know what to say, but I did, because I was threatened on a regular basis, I was a little bit nervous, but so many things were happening to me that even if I had, I mean, you can always report every single thing to the police, but all it is is a report. You can, the best you can say is, you know, it was a Ford, say it was like a Ford Explorer. It was in the SUV realm. It was a Ford Explorer, you know, red or something like, I, there's not much to say. And it's just another police report that's going to go nowhere. Other than the only benefit otherwise would be to prove um, that, uh, what do I want to say? All right, ready? That um, I've had to document 60 million things. So anyway, I'm wondering why this is, oh, it's going into short clip. Um, so, oh, there's segments. They put it in another mode. So my camera might have gone into another mode. Um, we'll have to fix it. There's only so much I can do. I pressed it once to make sure the viewfinder was still working, but... Anyway, a whole trash can filled with little dried poop or chopped up little knots of an old tree root situation. Um, or... I'll just leave. There's only one battery life left. So there's only one bar left on the battery. I'm just gonna leave it. I don't. I'm hoping that my talk wasn't cut off by the by whatever was going on. Cause it, the I know this disc works in segments, so I will have to upload all of this um, a certain way. So anyway, we're headed back. We're on Moore Street and Broad. Uh, let's see. We may have to. We are a block south of where I'd like to be. All right, Ace, you sweet thing. Use this one. We'll use this trash can really quick. Um, is this even a functional? I guess we'll put it right in there. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Right. This is back backpack on right now. I've been meaning to get a new backpack. I've had this thing and it has a broken strap. I had to tie knots in it. But now I want to get a different. I've been wanting to get a different backpack for like six months. Um, but it just comes down to a monetary issue and stuff like that. So, so this lady's carrying a Target bag in her hand. Uh, so, yeah. Somewhere my camera might have. I got onto a really good riff there about all kinds of things. I'm hoping my camera didn't cut it off, but that's okay. I'm used to I'm used to technology or electronic devices sort of like oddly turning off for a second or uh, shutting down even though there's a lot, or the battery will be drained really quick and stuff like that. So over here at Fulton Bank, and should we check out the refrigerator or the cabinet? There's a community cabinet down here for food. They used to have it up at Hive. They moved it down here, Hive Cafe. Um, and you can find like dry foods in there, like canned foods and stuff. They haven't, I've been, I've checked it a few times and it's not, either there's more demand down here, right Ace? And people are emptying it out more than they did at the Hive. Uh, but anyway, I haven't been able to see, find any food in there. There's also one at Bach Bar over by 7th and Seigel-ish, um, way in the southeast region of South Philadelphia. What do you say, Ace? Beep beeps. So here we are. Um, 30 rack shawl tea. Okay. So we'll head over here. All right, they have to put in all new lines, it looks like, down here next to the Broad Street line. So wow, look at all the cables and everything. Car and Duff Electrical. What is that about? So they need all electrical lines on the northbound, next to the northbound train, unless it has to do with the residential stuff and it's going in the manhole here. So here we go. Ready, Ace? Okay. Um, okay. Here we go. This is 
vintage Philadelphia dry clean extraordinaire. So pickles and everything. <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a big deal what's going on here. So the bank where first names come second nature. That is somebody's joking about something there with that bank name bullshit sign. <laughs> so the banks are mocking other people, I think. Uh, so where first names come second nature. Right. right. What do you say? So my mom, right, most people, my mom and aunt went by their middle names. It's because they didn't love their first names. So Margaret Jane and Nancy Gale. And my mom went by Gale and my aunt went by Jane. Um, our mom's name, my mom's mom was Nancy. And she went by Nancy. I don't even know what her middle name was. So, all right, hold on here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So parking garage, I guess, for the rec center and the library and the chop. All right. Here we go. Let's. All right. And then we have the playground back here for kids. What do you say, Ace? I have no long, I have no idea how long we've been out, but I'm guessing we walked so far that it's got to be about a half hour. So we're heading on back. Uh, and I, I feel like the battery went quickly. Or also, how much is on my car? Like, if I don't have the disc erased totally. <laughs> the little birds in the. all up in here in the sort of moat area or ditchy area, a little in ground with bushes and trees area of the playground. So this is the right, a Giuseppe Di Silvestro playground. They must have helped or I guess it's in that person's honor. It's a city thing, so um, I can see that. Another, oh my goodness, hi. <laughs> hi, oh. <laughs> hi, sweet thing, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, he, he <laughs> loves other dogs. He's right. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> sweet thing. Okay. All right, here we go. She reminds me of the other lady we saw earlier, but with a, with a wardrobe change. So, say people, like, change their wardrobe and had, like, they had 10 minutes or 10 seconds, like Katy Perry, to change a wardrobe on set. Um, she looks a lot like she either has a twin sister or is related to the woman we saw earlier with the golden, or it was a special golden retriever. Um, almost Irish said her hair, but she said it was a golden something with whiter fur. Um, but, so she's either a dog walker down here or, uh, with a wardrobe change. She, the other one had a long coat. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But I was like, wait, she looks just like the other woman. So I look the same. So. <sighs> so a sweater over there. So everybody's into hawkering and spitting. I saw a girl running earlier as if she were training. She was a little bit heavier than your usual, like, serious runner. Um, but, um, I noticed her down on Walnut Street, or up on Walnut Street, I guess, headed east past 17th, and she spit a couple times. And it, like, this white, like, mark would, like, flow out from her, from her mouth. So, <laughs> All right, what do you say, sweet thing? It feels good. It's like invigorating. I was kind of toasty in my apartment, and it's one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, some, you don't feel like going out or whatever. It's easy to get into that mode, but I will say this about dog walking. Um, E85 LSH on the New Jersey truck that just went by, like a GMC black, and leash, like LSH. Uh, anyway, it no longer holds the power. The license plate thing. Uh, which can play into a patternized thing or a messaging thing like HNT would seem like hint, 
you know, like, oh, you're being taken for a little ride to find out the truth of your family history or something, you know, or something that happened to you a long time ago, you know. This came up in a book that I read, um, Strange Piece of Paradise, and she talked about these things that happened to her. Uh, anyway, um, but I will say this about dog walking. It does keep you active, and just when you feel like you want to be like a Lay's ball and sit around inside, this is one thing that'll keep you coming in and out, in and out. Like if you have a heavy dog walking schedule, it keeps you on the run. Now admittedly, there are other exercises that are technically, like if you are part of a running group or whatever, that's technically, that's going to put your body in shape. But this at least keeps you active and your blood circulating and so forth and so on. So anyway, we're going to head back in. So I'd like to thank Ace, the superstar of this particular um, walk. We've live we've live streamed before. I just do a, I'm doing a Vivitar one right now. So thank you so much, Ace. I love and adore you so much, and I really appreciate your dad. Um, so for hanging in there with me and keeping me uh, all these years as a dog walker. So even with having moved away and come back, um, he too had to move away temporarily and came back. He had a home in Florida. So here we go. I will see you on the flip side. And thank you so much, right, Ace? Yes. I know, you are so cute, yes.